the first thing we need to focus on is the uh, adding of participants to your project. This can be done from the portal page by going to your administration and managing your team. Here, I'm gonna demonstrate how to add a new user manually to the project itself, which with the right roles will give them access to deliverables management. You'll click add user and search by email. They should pop up in the uh, list to select. And you hit the plus to add them and you can select what role you want the user to have. I am gonna choose the uh, custom role I created, DM Admin, which is part of the Project Wise 365 setup that we are not gonna cover here, but it can be addressed later. Once I add her to the list, she is automatically available. You also have the option to import users from a uh, template you can download first. I have already downloaded the template and pre-prepared it. So you'll go to Select File, find where you have it stored. There's the file and I will upload it. And once you upload the file, it will notify you once those users are added to the project. I usually hit refresh, see if it adds the users. And here are the two users. Well, here are the two users that were just added. And I got a notification as well through my connection client. The next way we want to demonstrate is how to add, how to invite external participants. And I have prepared a short video for that. So I'm going to advance to that now. I'm going to do a brief demonstration on inviting an external user and then from the external user's perspective, joining the deliverables management project. From your project page, you will go to your administration, manage external organizations, and you will invite an organization. While it is advised against using public domains such as Gmail, Hotmail, or Yahoo, or Outlook.com, because they are public domains and anybody can be registered under them. Most of the time when you encounter this, your format will be your name identifier at your company's email domain. And you can include a custom message explaining what the purpose of this is for. So now this message on the invite will be for the demo project. I will send the invite. Now, swapping to the user's view, they will get a notification when they sign in to their connection client that they have been invited to join the project. This is the notification, and here is the notification. You can advance, you can accept and select a registered project, or you can register a new project. If you accept invitation, you will have a separate project registered under your name that will be linked to the original project. It is worth noting that any users that join are invited to the project and join under your domain, the first user will be designated the administrator for that domain. and will have the same rights to administer their domain as you do when you invited them. Now I've refreshed the invite screen to show that the user has accepted. So now that is the user under that project, under that email domain. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.